All right, well, the, uh, the polar tool works great, Chris. Um, either, either one works fine. You know, the rounded one is nice. Square one's nice. I think the washer could be just a hair smaller um, because it doesn't, like, it'll only push as far as the rotor, but you can't push that last little bit off. So, in my opinion, I would just make that washer a little smaller. There's no reason for it to be that big. Um, you know, it could even be as small as, as this here. Um, I mean, you could even put something like a socket on there size, you know. So, I don't think you need a washer that big. That's all I'm saying. But either one of them works great. Um, okay, as far as the rotor, smooth side out. The side with the uh, shoulder on it goes inward. Um, I had a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, when I did my E-Tech, it just popped right off. Um, and I know they're all the same. Um, what happened was is the, uh, the rotor was wedged so tightly in between the, um, the brake pads that, and then the rotor got wedged down in here in the footwell. So I couldn't, I just couldn't get it off the end of that shaft and uh, it was a real pain in the ass so I thought geez why can't I just pop out a, uh, a brake pad but I don't know how these brake pads come off to be honest with you because I loosened this I took this shroud off with some uh, T20 Torx I took this shroud off the front which I did not even do when I did my E-Tech and um, that, that bolt that holds that brake rotor in, I loosen that off, but it's got a shoulder on it, so that bolt won't come all the way out just to pop a pad out. So if you could pop the pad out, the outside pad, then you'd have room to, to finagle the uh, rotor out. Anyways, I got it out, got this off. Um, so now really all I gotta do is just go underneath, and um, I can probably even do it right from here. So you can pull the shaft over and uh, then I'll just have to start uh, working my shaft out of the uh, chain case and um, there you can kind of see already that's ah sorry the lighting's not very good um, anyways so I'll get the shaft out get the track out and then we'll come back <laughs> 